Hello and welcome. Cedric and Cedric here. See our wrestling commentary New Japan Pro Wrestling Resurgence. Final match, part four International World Grand Prix United States Championship. Tanahashi Hiroshi versus Lance Archer, the champion. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. This was a really, it was a good match. Now, I, I'm going to say this, okay? There was just one little part in the match where I was like, oh, come on, dude. It's too obvious. We'll get to that. I'm not going to go play by play or anything. Just things that I mainly remember mostly from the match. Because it was a good match. The whole match was good. Don't get me wrong. It was. Um, You know, Tanahashi fought from... You know the bottom, the underdog battle, like the like a hero time. would. You know, Superman. You know, no Batman versus Bane. You know, Superman versus anyone made of pure kryptonite, and he's got to find some kind of leg suit or something. You know, <laughs> you got you got to you got to put work. You know, you got to work, and you know, or anybody versus you know, uh, Dark Seed. You know, or Side, whichever you want to pronounce it. So. Honestly, anyone that might have a chance, a modicum chance of somehow possibly winning versus Dark Side. All right. Yeah, really. <laughs> um, I enjoy the match. I usually, in the beginning, when I started watching New Japan on a more regular basis ages ago, Tanahashi was winning everything. He always won the matches the exact same way, yada yada, and it was boring. And I gotta admit. When time passed, and I see how they was treating Tanahashi while um, Okada Kazuchika was champion. They were doing the same thing with him. Yeah, but I kicked myself for not just enjoying Tanahashi's reign. I got to admit that. I kicked myself for not enjoying it because, damn, I mean, he's on top. He's winning. And I was bored by it. I don't necessarily, I don't regret my boredom. I don't regret my stance. I regret not watching and soaking in his matches. I regret not acknowledging and seeing him as the professional wrestler that he he was and is and always will be. And I feel that way about a lot of people that I thought were boring or mundane, get older, and it's like, damn, you know, because I see what it is now, and I'm like, ah, oh, crap, I should have really relished that. You know, it's like you eat your sandwich and it's, it's a good sandwich. It's okay. But that last bite is where, for some reason, all the ingredients went to. You can't enjoy the rest of the sandwich, but you savor that last bite. I wish I could have. I wish Tanahashi could have been like that last bite, but throughout the whole sandwich. You know, that's what I should have enjoyed. I should have enjoyed the whole goddamn sandwich. I understand your sentiment. It just does not apply to Tommy Dreamer. No, it don't. I like Tommy. You know, as a person, Tommy Dreamer is a beautiful man. He just bored the fuck out of me in the ring, and he still bores me in the ring. And I can't figure the shit out. Oh, man. I can't figure it because he, he looked good, and he can wrestle. I don't know what the fuck it is. You know, if I see him today, it might be different. I don't know. But... Tanahashi, it early won't. on, huh? It won't. Uh, <laughs> Tanahashi, uh, Lance Archer wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna let him in the ring, and it was it, it was fun. It was <laughs> funny. See Tanahashi, like I am, I am really upset. I'm gonna get in this damn ring, <laughs> <laughs> and that was a good thing. And he got he got up there, you know, um, you know, uh, basically reverse stun gun because he was facing him. Yeah, put him down over the top rope. And Tanahashi dropped from the top of the apron all the way, way to, the floor, to the floor. And he had to drop and then just break his fall by bending his knees real quick and drop it to the floor, you know, so he doesn't jack up his knees. And I was like, a lot of people might think he fell or slipped. It's like, no. He literally took away all that landing pressure since he doesn't have any cartilage in his knees. Gotta protect them knees. Yep. His knee pain is no joke. If you jump backwards off of something, let's say you five feet high, you jump off of something that's five feet high onto a ground with no give, and you jumping backwards, as soon as you land on your heels, you better bend your knees, bend your back, and roll backwards. Because other than that, you're going to mess something up. I mean, that's how that works. Knee pain is no joke. Ain't no joke. 
if you're jumping forward, you know, turn to the side, you know, don't roll your ankle, but roll, but, but, you know, use your ankle to help roll to your, your, your hip, knee, shoulder, roll over onto your back, your front, and then get up that way. Because other than that, you're going to mess up your knees, your ankles, your, and break your hip probably. You got, you, back you got to brace yourself. The, the, that's a little mechanic to dropping, and he used one of them, and it was smart. And he was able to get up. Because I've seen him do that before where he tried to just take the impact, and he won't write the rest of the match. And I felt really bad. You could tell it was it won't a spot. It won't work. That was legit. You know? And so Tanahashi has to fight retrain. hard. Huh? Probably had to retrain a lot of what he does uh -huh. to uh accommodate his deteriorated knees. Yep, yep. And he fought with Archer and Archer kept shutting him down. I mean the whole match Tanahashi was getting shut down. He would fight back a little bit, get shut down. It was a Honestly, just to be honest with you, it was a perfect, perfectly done United States tie, uh, style match. You know, that match could have been held in any credible company of professional wrestling. This excludes AEW and is almost excluding WWE. You know, but um, who is calling you on my time? Who 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 dares interrupt me? <laughs> I'll call her back later. Who is it? Was was it A or was it your mom? It was mom. I don't give a damn. Of course, <laughs> your reaction would have been the same for either one. <laughs> you know that. You know that. <laughs> it's my time, my moment. Nobody takes from me. Not even me. If I'm gonna pick something up. I'm going to knock it out my hand because it belongs to me. Damn. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. So, that's what you call hyperbole and going way off the rails. Okay. So, I enjoyed the match. It was it was good back and forth. They didn't do, they didn't go all high spots and stuff like that. It was a, it was a basic game. I, I like how Tanahashi targeted the knees, but I don't like how he let up on that. And then Lance Archer had to put him back on track. You know, fed him the leg, dragon screw. But in all honesty, I. Tanahashi getting that elevated clover hole, if he still does that, onto Lance Archer, it wouldn't have been viable. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know he's done it before, but right now, with the shape that Archer is in, it would not have been good. He might have messed Archer up. He really might have messed him up. And plus, Lance is so long, it would have been easy for him to get out. Yeah, you could just slide up a little bit and all that extra weight. Tanahashi would have flipped right on over. He ain't... Archer, Archer is not light like he was in New Japan. Uh-uh, he been, he been in the U.S. too long. He been, yeah. He been here eating. He be in that salt intake. <laughs> um, squishy in the middle. Yeah. See, there always been... Every time she watches him, she's like, bite him in the middle. Yeah, I got to get him right on the side where where there's no ribs to protect. If you bite him right there, psh, you ain't going to get the win. But they're going to remember. <laughs> hey, like she said earlier, if a dog bites you, you're going to remember that to the day yeah, you die. Yeah, if a dog bites you, you're going to remember it. If a human bites you, you're going to remember that you're going to be laying in bed thinking, that motherfucker bit me. Yep. <laughs> I, I think you think that about our, our daughter too. She beat you way back in, oh in, in the apartment days. Bit me on my nose. Oh, I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, she yeah. got you on your side. Yeah, my side boob. Oh man, you can't bite the side boob. Always protect the side boob. Um. Yeah, I was battling the towel, y'all. It's like that sometimes. Not the boob on the side, but the side boob. <laughs> the boob on the side would be like a young buck or something like that, you know, or Don Fallis. You know, huh? or Kenny O'Faker. So I don't, you know, I don't like to re resort there, but that's so goddamn. I have zero respect for any of them, so I I resort to the childish insults that others will do. You know, if anyone's ever listened to me on this or comparative reasoning, I don't do the whole childish insults, but they are way below my level of respect. Just ugh. so Tanahashi has to fight back. And ultimately, yeah, he does get his moves in, but they are at, how can I say, 
the right opportune time because it seems like he wouldn't be able to get it at any other point. So that's why it makes sense. And you get lost in this match. You can easily get lost in this match. You're just watching and you're like, man, Tony Hodge is getting dusted. He's getting annihilated, you know, and you've seen it before and he just lose. You know, I've seen these long, drawn-out, nine-minute squash matches of yeah. Tanahashi. Yeah. You know, so I'm just waiting, you know. And then it gets to the point where it happens. He he hits the high fly flow off the top while Archer is standing. And then uh, he rolls him over. That's not the problem. But once rolled over, Archer is, you know, wiggling best he can into place. And I was like, I oh, don't make it too obvious. Yeah. Ah. And then that that's the part I talk about is just, uh. But, you know, Tanahashi lands a, a frog splash him to the back. And his frog splashes are different. It's weird, but normally when he lands, it's like half on the opponent, mostly on his elbows and knees. When he was landing on Archer, it looked like it was mostly body on body and keeping his knees as much off the mat as possible. That's what it looked like. Like he's retrained his frog splash a little bit. I don't know. I have not been watching New Japan for a while. So, you know, anyone who has been watching, even if that's you, Zemo, if he's if you've noticed that he's changed how his, his frog splash style is, let me know if you've seen that too because it looks way different to me. It almost like the way it did back in the... His, Hayer day, <laughs> but it like he's keeping his thighs off the mat to save his knees more, which basically puts more damage onto the opponent legitimately. Yeah, but if he does it in the right spot, maybe it's not so bad. Who knows? And then you know, Ar he rolls Archer over and, and he comes off the next rope and he gets the win. It was one, two, three, and for some reason, I think the audience was too. Waiting for another count and Archer kick out. <laughs> nope. Because the way it went, even the fans was kind of like, what, what happened? It wasn't one, two, three, yay! It was they one, two, three. And it was like, huh? And even I was like, huh? Because this is Archer's second defense of the title. So I'm like, wow, okay, he, he won? Crap, he won. Okay. Interesting. So then my brain goes into the whole, why did he win? You know, why? And there's a chance, I'm, you know, wrestling is very political. Life is political. If you've ever wanted somebody on your side or you chose the side of somebody, that was politics. That's tribalism. That's politics. It's all wrapped up into each other. So, he won, and I'm actually happy that he won. I'm, I'm gotten so used to seeing Tanahashi treated like shit, you know, and I haven't seen New Japan in a while, but it's still a bad taste of my tongue of Tanahashi's treatment. So, him winning this, I'm like, awesome, and he's the second person to win every single title that New Japan has. That's good. You know, that's going to break it down for him and Jay White to do battle over some new title or whatever title is going to happen or something. They're going to have to break this tie because Jay White's ego, you know, is just, it ain't going to let it stand. You know, and New Japan will eventually be like, somebody has to be the best. They will do that mess. Somebody has to be the best. How do we prove who's the best? They both Grand Slam champions. We've given them everything. Who's actually better? And then they'll just, something of, you know, two, I would do a two out of three or or a series of matches like the best of nine over a three month period or something. You know, I'm just something. But that'd be cool. Huh? That'd be cool. You know, yeah, you know, something simple, something cool, you know, suddenly. Um and so then it gets worse. Okay, so let's liven things up. Okay, first the stupid part. Moxley's upset. I'm like Fuck off. Fuck all the way off, goon. <laughs> so, that happens. Move on. Archer gets in the ring and shows an absolute amazing amount of respect and admiration 
and love for Tanahashi. Yes, he does. It was very warm. I don't know if any of you noticed, Archer had to shut the fuck up before he brought busted tears. Because he was getting there. And he was starting to get me there. And I'm almost like, shut up, man. You're going to make me cry, you little bastard. Mm-hmm. No, you ain't all that big. You know, I stood next to you. Fleetingly, about two arms length away. But I was there. Shit. <laughs> okay, so, he shows this. Shows his respect. Thank you very much, Tana, Mr. Tanahashi. Fist bump. Tanahashi doing the best he can with what English he's learning. You know, I promise you, you know. Everything. Everything. Yeah, everything. So that's awesome. Uh, see, y'all can probably hear me smiling too. <laughs> um, and and uh, I would rather a run in than what happened to spoil the show. Tanahashi tries to do his outro, his his stuff. And the crowd is not a New Japan crowd. There, I'm gonna tell you this: if there were six thousand people there, about two to three hundred were a New Japan crowd. There were not that many. If there's, if there were two thousand people there, I would honestly say about two to five hundred would be New Japan crowd. Yeah, they weren't responsive. Not responsive. I don't know what you saying up there. It sounds different than what I'm used to. Okay. Uh, yeah. It, it was bad. They weren't responsive, weren't receptive. They were, I mean, I wasn't watching. I was in the kitchen. You know, I was washing my hands and stuff. And I'm like, this crowd is dead. What the fuck? Tanashi tries two more times. And the crowd's like, crickets. I'm like, he's trying to say, I love you. Get a rise out of it. And they're like, uh, uh, <laughs> you said something in Japanese. We don't watch you. We wanted Archer to win. The guy that we was booing. We'd rather him win because he's, you know, a U.S. inhabitant. We want him. He's with AEW. Yeah. Uh, here's, here's, so... Oh God, the crowd! God damn, man! <laughs> and I said it in I think part one or part two, but like Jim Cornette said, it hurts my feelings. <laughs> it does. It hurts. I'm like, God damn, y'all! If I never watched a Japanese match, if I never knew anything about how to pronounce. Katakana and get used to their taglines and catchphrases. If none of that, I was absolutely foreign to this language and their customs and ways. And I'm at this event and I'm watching these wrestlers wrestle. It would be just like when I was goddamn 13 and I realized these motherfuckers are Japanese. This is cool. Look at them. They're from another country. I am excited to see what they do. This is cool. Oh, he is talking to us in Japanese. Oh, man, I don't know what he's saying, but he's excited. I'm going to fucking cheer. Fuck. It's not that fucking hard. No matter, no matter what language it is, you fall in love. You can hate. You holler out in pain. You laugh. Everyone knows the kissy faces. They know the hand gesticulations for a lot of things. When someone is talking and they're raising their voice and they're pumping themselves up and they are a face, even just fake it, God damn it. Just cheer with them. Cheer. We're on your side. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but yes, you, yes. <laughs> Point at them. Yes, yes. Point at them. Yes. Awesome, you! Shout their name, shout it, chant it, point at them, clap! That is universal! A face is hype, go with it! This is not rocket science. God damn it! God damn, that shit is painful. 
That's some painful fucking shit. Oh. Uh. I mean, really, Cedra? Like, what the fuck? They weren't a New Japan crowd. It wasn't like it was when they came to the Cow Palace. Ugh. That was pre AEW. It's different. AEW has ruined. No, they have exacerbated the stupid that's been coming over the people in the United States. They took advantage of the low IQ people, fed them the dangling keys with no substance. They got the keys and everyone think they're going for a ride, but there's not a car around. That's what AEW is. They are people with keys and no goddamn vehicle. <laughs> Fuck y'all. If it won't for my, if it won't for late night, absolute goddamn silence, and I hate silence, I would leave you motherfuckers off. If it won't for the hope of seeing Sting or FTR or somebody, and you know what? If this shit, if I had paid cable and shit, I wouldn't watch it. I wouldn't give you the motherfucking rating. Fuck y'all. Watch that shit for free. Let somebody else record it edit it and put it up and I watch it for free. I can skip through what I want or pretty much as I do play my game or or write this story I'm writing or work on a wrestling move and then if I hear something that might strike my ear then I look at the screen and be like oh that and then go back to what the fuck I'm doing because y'all ain't that important. You know if I want to talk about an AEW show wouldn't be much. I'd be like, I saw this match. This, these people won. I don't know what they did in the ring, but they won, and I'd move on. I just, yeah. I can remember everything that happened on this damn show, and it's been two days covering it. I remember this shit. Tana how she deserved better than this. New Japan deserved better than this. If they don't come back here, that's that's the goddamn thing. Now, let me go back into the thing about what my brain was doing about him winning his belt for those that stuck around this long. Um, I, if New Japan does this, it'd be great. The United, the IWGP International World Grand Prix United States Championship, that title could be the bridge maker. That it could be the bridge maker. It could easily be that belt that yeah, your person in Japan got it. Okay, cool. Is the United States title, and you they could go, it could be represented in various promotions in the United States. They could defend it in the NWA, might lose it, might gain it back. It could it might be lost in the NWA, defended somewhere else, defended somewhere else and lost, and then someone from Japan could go and challenge for it. Literally putting everything together. You know. It could be that. And that would be a really good thing. That'd be a beautiful thing. That would be so right. You know, that's what I'm hoping. I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to see. You know, you, you saw AEW. Uh, well, All Elite Wrestling or Attitude Era Wrestling. You've seen um, Total Nonstop Action Wrestling. You've seen the National Wrestling Alliance. You know, obviously, New Japan Pro Wrestling. The only thing you didn't see up here were Lucha Doors. But at the same time, you've seen the big companies. And WWE is a, hold up, an isolated company with world titles. That's literally like being on an island with five other people and then put it in sand. I challenge the world to defeat me. And nobody... Not only do they not know you're there, but those that know you're there, you make sure they can't get to you. And you ain't going out to anybody, but you challenge the world. Some stupid shit. United States title just might be able to be that bridge. And then if WWE is seen as hey, the outsider, now that, that could change things right there. That could change things. 
that right there because if everybody's defending and they're going for this title and then you got others trading with other companies and they elevate each company okay um they do that and elevate each other and wwe is left on the outside and then nobody wants to work with wwe because they want to work with everybody else and they and wwe don't have enough money to hire them because it'd be like fuck your money i'm going for prestige i'm going for pride i'm going for you know in-ring work and not whatever y'all do with your plays and stuff and scripts and then wwe start losing talent how long will it take before they break how long i'm just saying it's possible who knows but um yeah it was, it was i think it was a really good main event it was good just highly unappreciative crowd that's about it <sighs> Zemo said that there was something that pissed him off and it still pisses him off. Maybe I covered it, maybe I didn't. But hey, Zemo, if I did, let me know. <laughs> I want to know what page, if we're on the same page or if we're in the same book. Because maybe it's something I saw that tipped me off and I didn't cover it. Because I was like, I just either forgot or it was like, yeah, let me get this more important. I don't know. But um, I want to I wanna, I wanna personally thank you and all net Zonta for your views and your upvotes and whatnot. I deeply appreciate it. And anyone else who watches this, even if you're not subscribed or whatnot, for your views and your time and your patience, your energy, I honestly, humbly, seriously, sincerely, sincerely want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Seriously. I thank you. And I appreciate the time you put in to listen to me because I know I go on my rants and stuff. So, with that said, I'm going to do it for this. This has been Cedric Kennedy for Cedric Owens for, and I'm going to do the whole thing, for CR Wrestling, CR Wrestling Commentary, CR Fire Pro, CR Fire Pro Road, Pay Nagna Wrestling, all that good stuff down in the description below. Find them, talk to them, say hi to them, and all this other stuff. And with that said, good night, everyone.